We were there one time prior uh, in, during my tenure as head coach, which is my first year, 2005, and so um, we're going back. Uh, should be a great destination for our players, for our fans. Um, you know, Indiana, very good opponent. They haven't had a chance to to uh, research them in depth, but I know they throw the ball well. I got to see them on TV a time or two this season, and and uh, what stood out was their passing attack. I think they're in the top uh, one, two, or three in the Big Ten throwing the football, as well as in total offense. So, do a good job moving the ball. And I understand they went through a coaching change, so I don't know a whole lot more than than just what uh, the blurbs you see uh, on the uh, national news, but. Uh, our guys are, are going to be excited to, to uh, head to California. It's, it's right in our uh, recruiting footprint, which is a big plus. Uh, in fact, I think most of our roster is from California, the majority uh, from the state of California as far as uh, the, the one particular area that we have the most players from, and to be either that or, or Utah. Is it U California or Utah? It is California, just barely. Okay, so, so a lot of players, uh, opportunity to go play in front of family. Um, and so... You know we're excited. It's uh, <clears throat> it's a it's an opportunity for our team to uh, to play another game, and it's great for uh, the young guys in the program, the developmental guys, to get extra practices, and so there's a lot of positives attached to it. We always have a, a good preparation for bowl games, and that's never been a problem in the past. And so I don't think how the season, the regular season, ended, has any bearing on our preparation for a bowl. We've we've seen to handle that situation pretty good, regardless of circumstances. It was one of the uh, the ones that looked attractive to us. There were there were a few, but but uh, it was uh, something that our players, you know, just in in uh, casual uh, taking the pulse of the team. I think that was something that they would ho were hoping that would be a, a strong possibility for us. So, yeah, well, our guys work hard. That, that's first and foremost. Is they they take the bull prep very serious. Um, <clears throat> we go out there. It's physical practices. It's uh, very. Very similar, if not exactly similar, to in uh, in season preparation, and so I think that's been the the biggest factor in our bowl success is the way our players approach the games and the and the work that they put in. You know, in the past two years we've played uh, around the 20th, 18th of December, and so this will be uh, a, an extended preparation time. Uh, we will spend Christmas on the bowl site, which is fine. I mean, we've done that before as well. But uh, yeah, you're, you're right. We're going to have uh, at least you know three or four, maybe five more opportunities to practice and develop those young guys, and and uh, that will start not this week, but next week. We'll begin practicing again on Friday of this week, uh, and then we'll uh, have. Uh, straight through after that, you know, beginning of the next Monday with either developmental or travel squad practices. Yeah, I think that's great. I was I thought it would have been a shame had they not been included uh, with what they've done this year and, and uh, they're in. They got a stiff challenge obviously against Alabama, so they'll find out right away in in round one where they where they stand. But uh, I think it's great for our, for the conference and uh, it's uh, you know it, like I said it would have been a just uh, a complete uh, wrong or tragedy if they had not gotten invited. So it's, it's good to see them in. Yeah, that's probably the biggest reason you want to go to a bowl game is for your senior class and to send them out the right way and have an opportunity to, to enjoy the bowl experience because it's more than just the game. You know, there's a lot of uh, activities and, and memories that are made on a bowl trip, uh, bowl gifts. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool deal. And so that is the number one objective, at least in our program, to get to a bowl game is, is for the seniors. And uh, hopefully they have a good experience. Still in progress. I've, I've watched uh, every game film at least once since uh, the season ended, which is in the last week, and uh, still making evaluations and figuring out, uh, and particularly uh, red zone issues. And so that's an ongoing process, and it will continue, uh, you know, sporadically whenever I can fit it in over the next uh, couple, two or three weeks. Well, that process has already begun, and uh, you know, I'm not going to name names, but you can probably figure out who the guys are that we're putting through the advisory committee. That's up to them to determine if they want to release that or not. But, but there's a, a couple guys, two or three guys, that will be going through the uh, evaluation and based on what comes back, making decisions at that point. Any leaning? Did they give me any indication? Right on the fence. Right on the fence, all pending the uh, evaluation. I think we, we, we definitely took strides. We're still not where we need to be throwing the football, but we, we bumped up uh, several notches compared to where we were 
uh, the last couple of years, but we've still got work to do. But even that being said, that was not our main uh, Achilles heel this year. It was it was the red zone production. That was the main uh, area of that was problematic. And so, uh, had the red zone production been where we wanted it to be, we'd probably be 11 and one, 10 and two, 11 and one. So that's how important it is.